camera. We are 63.7 miles from home. Where are we? Greenbush. Yeah. So this sled started dragging as soon as you let off the gas. It's just like everything's slowing down. I looked at the brake, but it didn't seem too hot. So could be a bearing? I, I don't know. We, we have no idea what's going on. And then a bunch of um, ice and snow fell out of the track as we sat here a little bit. So the first thing we're gonna do is try to shake these out. <laughs> really want it to be an easy fix, I don't you? Really do. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Those are the best. Coming on and off now. So, brake switch is working. It could still be the caliper though. The caliper could be seized. There's like one teeny bug. The, uh, the bleeder on the caliper rounded off because I only have open-ended wrenches. It could also be a bearing in the drive shaft. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All I know is that it drags like crazy, which means it wants to slide in every corner. So it's gonna be really fun. You get to drive that one, I'll drive this one. Cause this is how it's gonna be until we either get home or it lights on fire. The current options seem so, not good. Yeah, so do you wanna drive the cold, fast sled, or the warmer, potentially hazardous fireball sled. There probably won't be a fireball, it'd probably just be a bunch of smoke and then you'd get off of it and hope that it doesn't blow up. I'm selling that for sure. Alright, so what I'm going to try and do is pull the primary and the belt off to give me more access to the top of the brake caliper to remove the brake line in case the brake is the issue. If the brake isn't the issue, then this is a giant waste of time. So, don't know. All right, so we took the secondary off and the belt sort of off and the belt shield to try to get better access to this bleeder valve here so that I can use the same wrench and round off the other two corners. Wait, no, it opened it, it opened it. Okay, cool. Sweet. Bad news is I'm not seeing a ton of brake fluid. Now I see a little bit. I was hoping for like a, a spurt, which meant that it was under pressure. Which means this might not be a brake problem, this might be a bearing problem. All right, let's put it back together and limp it home. <laughs> Your fingers crossed. 